Hey everybody, it's Harley from Bonehead Assassins. It's a little bit uh, noisy out here. I live right by the railroad tracks. Um, I'm getting ready to make some bank poles. I'll go out here to a friend's house and he's got him a, a lake out there. It's got a pretty good size channel cat, good eaters out there. And we're planning on catching a bunch of them today and tonight. And we figured uh, we'd throw some bank poles out. And I've never used them before. A buddy of mine from work uh, told me what he does and I kind of got the idea from him I'm putting a little bit of extra something different putting my twist on it and uh, I don't know maybe he does the same thing but, but after he told me what he does uh, I decided to go ahead and make some and I went to Menards and got some supplies go ahead and hopefully this will show you good um, I'm just using half inch PVC and uh, let's see here. I'm gonna cap it. I'm gonna cap the end. I got a 10 foot length. I'm gonna cut it in the middle at an angle to drive it into the ground. And uh, I got some caps to put on the end for when I drive it. It's to help the, the end of the pipe from splitting out. Then I'm gonna drill uh, all the way through. I just noticed one of them was too small, but uh, they were supposed to be big enough. I've already made uh, six of them, but I'm going to drill all the way through the cap and the pipe and put this eye bolt to tie the uh, line to. So I'll hurry up and do that real quick. Less than eighteen dollars. I bought enough stuff to make eight uh, bank poles. And here in Indiana, we're only allowed to fish with three fishing poles. Uh, so, but but the bank poles aren't considered fishing poles. So you can line up a bunch of bank poles while you're using your three rods and and uh, and be legal and have a better better odds at catching some fish. pre-marked since I already made some of them I just kind of eyeballed the center so yeah I'm a few inches off but that's okay you can see I'm just taking the cap I'm not even going to worry about gluing it uh, I am going to tap it on all the way down since I'm going to be tapping it later anyway, I want, to, I want it all the way down before I drill the hole all the way through it, so it doesn't put any unnecessary stress on the, on the pipe when I go hammer it in the ground. Since one of the bolts is too small, you'll just see me put one together. The hole is just perfect. 
for this size of bolt so we thread it in it fits tight it's not going to be wobbly so I screw it in as far as I can till the uh, until the uh, the open part of the eye bolt is on top I don't know if you can see that but it's on top and I took, went ahead and took pliers and tightened that all the way down and the ones I already made I did go ahead and prime them I'm probably going to paint them green too put some green spots on them just for when I use them at the river they're not so noticeable to uh, someone that might want to you know, run my lines and, and steal my fish but I am going to put a piece of uh, yellow reflective tape just on the end so as I'm fishing or, or, or checking my lines I can just shine my light over and see if the lines bouncing I'll show you a finished one So here's the finish when I've, I've primed it. It's just primer brown. Uh, it'll be okay for tonight. Now I'll make it a little bit better later. But there's what I was talking about the uh, yellow reflective tape. That ought to show up good. I can stick them in different places around the uh, lake and be able to check them from where I'm at just shine a flashlight over on so since that one there was the wrong bolt I will have seven bank lines tonight and hopefully we catch some fish and I'll go ahead and show you some of that footage too I'll catch you later we're sitting in another bank pole here not even having to drive it down I found a this crawdad hole Put this thing down on the ground about a foot and a half. That'll be plenty. Got a little piece of bluegill right there. We'll uh, we're gonna go ahead and toss it out. And I got reflectors on there so we can shine that from the other side of the pond and we'll just see how we do all right what we got here on the bank pole where's yet oh yeah another good eater size channel cat And we had bluegill on that one too. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah.